No ever try him. Say you want to stay with the lady mm. for a long period of time when you both of you are not ready to like settle down to be in one house. When you are staying with your girlfriend and she's someone that you really love, you should be able to discipline yourself. You are cohabiting and back to back every single day you are giving it to each other. You cannot tell me that after a week the drive will still be the same. As a man, you should always know how to keep yourself. If you keep on the you, there's no level See, of that you are that. comfortable with your daughter knocking outside marriage. Yeah. Whether you're okay with it or not. <laughs> If you want to go and get something outside, how many minutes does it take? The only thing that, that can help in relationship is if both of you are loyal to each other. Bro, loyalty is shit. Cohabiting with my partner before marriage is better. This thing is really quite simple. Even after dating for a couple of years, you tend to not really know the person you are dating fully because at a point, some people might be putting on different characters which you don't know because you guys are over distance. I don't know. I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say. Like, I'm calling someone, we're always talking on the phone and we meet probably like once a while or twice a while. We don't know how hygienic the person is. I don't know what type of person I'm trying to get into a proper relationship with. I don't know who the person is completely until we start to stay together. And, and after a while, I kept seeing some certain instances where you keep showing me some certain things that you do that may be icky to me that I don't really like. I want to touch on the area of sexual compatibility. She might not really be a fan of constant knacks. I'm big on that, so I feel like we need to be able to like find out our areas of weaknesses. Because imagine me being like in the mood um, on Monday, and you, you're not in the mood. Tuesday, I called you, Alpha, let's do this. You said no. Wednesday, I woke you up in the middle of the night. You said no. And then on Thursday, when I'm busy and I'm not in the mood, you are coming to me, trying to get me to do stuff. It won't be possible. So I feel like you need to be able to stay together for a while to find out if you are sexually compatible with your partner because we cannot overemphasize the importance of sex in any relationship. So cohabitation is very key. We need to stay with each other for a while in the relationship to get to know each other better. My friend needs to know the things I like and things I don't like. Like things that we would want him to do when we're actually in marriage and things he would want me to do and things I also want him to do also. If my boyfriend is someone that is always scattering the house and the kind of person I am, I don't like that. It's not like when I don't really like it. When I put this pillow here, I go outside for about five minutes and I come inside, the pillow is on the chair already. We need to stay together to be able to know how to tolerate each other before we get married. Because if we don't know things like that about each other, we will fight to ah, that marriage will be hard. Will the disagreeers please step forward? Concerning what you said about having sex, you don't have to stay together before you guys can start having sex. You want to have sex, you can easily call babe, I want to have sex. But what's the need of staying together under the same roof for a long time? So yeah, when I'm in the lorry, I have to, when you just call Why me, not? I, just have I can to come over have there, to fly away or you come over. Why do you want to keep staying in my house? Staying with me, I think it's a no. Like I've said, it's no, no, no. If she, wherever she may be, be it out in lorry and I'm in Lagos, she can simply come while I can also go over there. Other than you choking me in the house. I have a lot of things to do. You can just be my friends, to come around. I need a certain freedom. For example, I'm an adventurer. Where's all the fun if I'm not traveling down to come and see you, if I'm not giving you surprises? What is the surprise I want to say again when I wake up, you are beside me. I go to work, I'm back, you're still there. What? What's the fun? There is something called the build up, you know? Okay. If you are apart for three weeks, okay. mm -hmm. the congee will not fool your body away. <laughs> now, if you are cohabiting yeah. and back to back every single day, you are giving it to each other. Mm -hmm. You cannot tell me that after a week, the drive will still be the same. You need to be able to find that balance to know if this girl is truly, truly compatible for me sexually. Yeah. Because me now, it's not a must um, that I should be the one that will get tired of sex. It's possible for me to get tired also. Okay. 
So I need to be able to know if because when you get married, obviously she'll be in your house. Bro, if you want that, then get married. No, you you just, it. if you want that, no, you need to be able to know beforehand. Bro, beforehand. Yes. No, it's not as if Kanji will not come, it's normal. Bro, but bro, you even as if bro, if she's in going. Uh-huh. And t- um, two, three weeks, you are not together. Uh, the mm-hmm. country is there. So are you saying she should keep from even, living in your house? Bro, as a yes, man, obviously. And you should always know how to keep yourself. And one thing after mm-hmm. that mostly kill most men is you if you allow your sex drive to rule you. Do you know what you're what heading for this <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, 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 this is a natural phenomenon. This is a natural phenomenon. Being with somebody, yes, yes you can, can like this person and both of you can actually be natural. Yes, I've seen this. Yes, okay, you want to have been for me. You can. I believe that I've been in a situation that I pray I will never enter. That's when you are determined, not when you are in a relationship. Why can't you be determined outside the relationship? See, if true conjugal. There's no level See, of I've been I've in a relationship, a relationship with really? I don't try and hold the lead. It is, is and I did not like you. And I will never pray for any guy. Yeah, exactly. You cannot continue. 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 Say you want to stay with a lady mm. for a long period of time when you both of you are not ready to like settle down to be in one house. You reason, you can wait, you wait. can actually be visiting each other and then go back. You don't she doesn't need to wait, stay okay, one okay, house. Okay, okay, wait. Why? Let's say this for instance. Let's say you want to buy a product. Would you just dive and go and buy the product without knowing? Mm-hmm. How the product function? Yeah. If it's a sealed, that is a sealed product. Even if it's a sealed product, yes. there will be adverts, okay. a preview oh, of okay. that pro- uh, product, the way it's going to look like. So, so if I'm going into a relationship, <laughs> wait, if I'm going into a relationship with someone whom I'm to marry, I want to know how to live with this person for like mm-hmm. a year. I'll just jump and go and. Pack all the tuba of yam, give it to the fam- family. And now they call it. Then afterwards, uh, I will now notice that ah, me in the morning, if I first wake up, I'll first mess. But uh, she doesn't like it. Before I can cohabit with anybody, there will be a certain level of love and tolerance between me and that person. There will be a certain level of chemistry and spark between the both of us. Now, while we are cohabiting together, I am not certain that I will cheat until certain boxes are being checked. Either the person is being shady or is acting, is, is not being real with me while they are living with me. Or I found out that the person has some extra marital affair before I can go outside and go and cheat on the person. But naturally, before I can cohabit with any person, I am ready to take responsibility and marry the person. But however, I am talking from the point of human being can make mistakes. Not that I can't cohabit with anybody. The real and honest truth is, if you don't stay with someone for a long period of time, there are some attitude. Let me give you instances. This person would come to your house. Let's say a girlfriend, a wife to be. And you would notice some traits you would never see if she doesn't stay with you. For example, constantly her phone is blowing off and she's always trying to mute it. These are red flags that you are supposed to watch out for when you are staying with someone. She's a business person. And what if she has all that? Is she to there are certain open them. hours and closing hours for those type of business people. For example, anything after 11, your wife to be your girlfriend should not be receiving a man's call. It's simple. 11 o'clock is enough for whatever business you want to do all day. 11 at night. I want to ask you a question. What's that, sir? Okay. Um, number one, I'm sorry to say, if you have a daughter, yes. like you are married, you have a daughter, yeah. and um, she's in this kind of a relationship and her boyfriend said oh please can you come over come let's be together for two months would you allow her no, it's not on it's not if the girl yeah. has introduced that boyfriend to me as this is my exactly. fiance yeah. so, so what you have to say now is like you are comfortable that? with your daughter knocking outside marriage whether you're okay with it or not <laughs> so this is right. your thing. step forward if you agree with this prompt bills should be shared while cohabiting I'm going to attach a small condition to it. There is a possibility that the bills might be too heavy for the guy alone to, you know, cover. So I don't see any reason why she should not, you know, contribute to it. There is a possibility that the guy at that moment earns around like, let's say, 150k a month, okay? You have electricity, you have feeding, transportation, and you know, personal self-care and everything. 
If you remove all of that from his salary, let's say he has just 70k or 50k left in savings. Now, if you roll that over for a year, that's 600k in total. Now, you are that the, the salary he earns is definitely not enough to cover rent inclusive. So, I would expect her uh, in her own little way to support. To be honest, I, I feel like um, the bill should not specifically be shared into a certain manner. It should just be more yeah, of um, the, the lady throwing out helping hands yes, to the male. Because not even if the lady is not staying in the house, his bill will still be paid. Yeah, if you still pay all those bills, there's no way you can escape it. But the only thing is, um, at a point, it gets, it gets overwhelming when you're trying to cater for two people at the long run. Even if you have that money to cater for that person, I've been in a situation where you just get home, you see this person at home and faffing all around. You, I am telling you this, honestly, it will stir up some certain emotion like, now wow, see this one just sleep all day, me, they also up and down. Even if you can take care of the bills, it will make you feel somehow like, at least get something mm -hmm. doing. But if the girl can probably, uh, maybe I made your favorite food and you did not drop money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She needs to understand that, yes, now that both of us are living together, she needs to have a way of like, um, sharing helping hands with me. She doesn't need to cover all the old bills, just the one that she knows that she is willing to be to help me with not the ones that, that I'm not forcing her to like this pay this pay this no the ones that she knows that from her heart she genuinely like feel like she wants to help she can after that nothing once both of you are staying together she also knows that she, now in her own mindset she knows that okay I'm staying with a single guy but now I'm living with him you, you will have to cover like most of the bill because he yeah. knows that in his right mindset he's trying to like okay show that yes now I'm the man cover for her. Yeah. But she, on the long run, with her, with, if she's a very good, decent lady that knows, her, that knows the right thing to do, she should be able to support him, both financially, emotionally, most especially financially, if she sees that, yes, he needs the help, yeah. if yeah. the help is needed. Yeah, yeah. Mm, I cannot pay the rent. I can't. Because, why? If I'm not staying with you, you pay your rent. My rent house. But then, if he's asking me to pay the rent, there will be like a very important reason. Maybe he lost his job or something. Like, it must be very, very important. And that's even if I have, even if it's important, that's if I have the money. I actually do support paying rent together. But I can't still just thoughts like when it comes to food. My boyfriend has gone out since morning and there's not, like I don't have to call him all the time, like, babe, what? So, are you sending money for me to cook or something? I can actually do that on my own if I have the money. That's my own little way of sharing support. But I don't support paying rent together because if it's I'm not house. there, you pay for it. <laughs> yes, no, obviously. If I'm not there, you pay your neighbor bills. Little things in the house that need amendment, I can still do that. So, I, I actually support the fact that bills should be shared. Will the disagreeers please step forward? Okay. I have a girlfriend and I love her so much to the extent that I want her to come and stay with me for a year before marriage and all. So I should be responsible for everything that happens in the house, everything financially. If on her own she chooses to, you know, surprise me by cooking or whatever, it's a plus for me. But for me, in as much you are coming to my house, my house, we are not married, it is my house. So I should be able to take care of everything everything in the house um, as a man or as a guy i have a girlfriend i invited you over to my house to come and stay with me for some time for us to coordinate and do stuff together i should be responsible for everything in the house if you choose to do anything on your own maybe to surprise me and all it's a plus for me or anything aside that i should be responsible i am inviting you over to my house so i should all burdens and everything should be on me sorry even if she's going out and she, she needs to be at a certain point, like probably she's going for something, she's going for an event. Since all bills are on you, you have to still foot her, her transport bills yeah, and everything to whatever she's doing. Yes. So that's fine with you. Yes, it's fine. 100% fine. And this same man will still be like, am I your father? We are not married. You're my girlfriend. 
I invited you over to my house. Babe, please come and stay with me for. So me inviting you to my house, I should be able to take care of everything. What if you don't get married to her? You don't expect. So you still expect her not to do anything. Anything. <laughs> Marriage she shouldn't lay a finger on anything. No, marriage is different. If on her own she chooses to do anything, it's a plus for me. So I am inviting you, want, you to my house. Because yes. if I should be able to carry that for you, you're not inviting me. You're paying her to come to your house. I, I am not paying her to come to my house. Because that's how you're making it. No, no, no. I am not paying her to come to my house. I'm inviting you to come to my house. So I should pay for everything. So even if she wants to go and buy drinks, she can buy drinks. 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 Maybe under I don't mind. Yeah. If you are in my house, I will stock yeah. everything there for you. I am taking it upon myself. Yes. So if any bills, in as much you are staying with me, Good. as my girlfriend, not my wife, a sensible lady on her own will do some things. What if she's she. not sensible? No, no, no. You don't expect me to date someone that is not sensible. Oh yeah, no. Let's 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 let
if you see, for example, now a lady that's in a relationship staying with me, my girlfriend, for example. When I was staying, with, my girlfriend came to stay with me for like a week or so. At that point, like what you said earlier, if you know in the middle of the night and this conjugate thing just you know goes up and oh, I know I have somewhere or someone to fall back to and just quench the stuff. No, but if she's not there, I'll try to okay. Hello, are What's you there? Success? Hello, can you you know stuff like that? I have a question. How many minutes does it take to make? How many minutes? Five minutes, please. Five minutes. Maybe I want to go and get something outside. Mm -hmm. How many minutes does it take? The last time we, 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 we were talking about um, who is supposed to pay the bills and all. Okay. So we spoke about the man paying up all the bills. The man will leave his house to go and look for work or to go and work outside. Mm -hmm. That period is outside working from Monday through Friday. Because well, the girl has access to do it. She access. can still be bored during that period. <laughs> it doesn't still change anything. It's in the nature of like, even if they stay together, they will still cheat. So, it doesn't reduce Jane. Mm. Cheating. I don't know why it changes everything. Okay. Because it's, there's always a possibility mm. that a person who does not have the kind of cheating nature loves his partner and is most times with his partner and they have a clean and pure relationship mm -hmm. the chances of that person going outside the relationship mm. has definitely been reduced this thing does not reduce cheating okay go ahead bro you can still be living with your partner you go go work your bro. partner will be out she can still be fucking around with the neighbors fucking around with friends exactly. you think as long as you are no money the only thing that that can help a relationship if we both of you are loyal to each other. Bro, loyalty is shit. I agree with him on that, saying loyalty can always be down the drain. Yes, you can certain you can conditions are met. But I am still saying right now that living yeah, together yeah. with your spouse together. for a year does not doesn't, doesn't stop. Doesn't See, for what is what, you guys will get tired of each other. But one yeah. thing is certain when both of you are together for that particular point in time, at a point, your dick will not even get standing for her again. Yes, that is because I am probably tired of sex. No, no you are. You can actually be tired of sex tired of. from her, but you want it from another person. Um, that that is where this thing comes in. Okay. When you are staying with your girlfriend mm -hmm. and she's someone that you really love, you should be able to discipline yourself. Mm -hmm. You are not at home, you've gone to work and this one. The temptations will surely come. I don't want to know. They will surely come. I but it is now your duty to you. stay away from it. It I is your duty. Step forward if you agree with this prompt. Does cohabiting lead to marriage? Will the disagreeers please step forward? For what is what, uh, to be honest, cohabiting doesn't really leads to marriage. What really happens with cohabiting is it weeds out those that are not compatible for each other. Yes. For them to move different yes. ways and yes. just start living on their own. Yes. I believe I believe it actually shows it shows the inner demons and inner strength of each person. So that both of you can actually evaluate the person that you are trying to like get yourself attached to. Yeah. So you know maybe you want to stay or you jump up. Cohabiting to me is like a way for you to really understand who it is that you're dating because there are some characters that you see that will turn you off at first but over time you know spending time with the person you can get to like understand you know and you know get to tolerate not tolerate per se but like get to understand the person and like see things from your own view so cohabiting just helps you to understand your partner a bit more but it does not guarantee marriage in any way because most times it doesn't end well at all you be able to see all the eating, eating, eating agenda. Yes. But I believe, I believe, um, one of my friends um tried it for a couple of um, months, actually years, and um, she she ended up complaining to me bitterly on what happened, like the things she saw, and she, normally she, she doesn't observe them before before entering into um, cohabitation with the guy. But well, after a while, she now started saying a whole lot of things. Like, I was like, damn, this person is really crying for help. All I'll say is, what is marriage itself? You guys have already 
start staying together and you expect it will lead to marriage. You guys are already having the marriage already. And you expect it to lead to my never. It's always break up. So much really leads to my so much really leads to my uh, lady mother and not a uh, sweet husband now. Mm -hmm. like, yes. But really. mostly I'm sure. Yes. The more time you the spend with them, the, that the closer you get with them, the more you get to understand their behavior and why they do the things they do. So it can help sometimes and sometimes it can break things.